Hi everyone, welcome back to Sunset Valley. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Why is he dressed like an old hoe? Well, first of all, it's because I am one. But second of all, it's because we're doing the Frio Brothers today. Yeah, so these two guys are a mess. Now, I've never actually played the Frio Brothers like on their own, but they're always in the background. For those of you who don't know, across the street, we've got Claire Ursine, and she's actually pregnant with one of the brother's babies. And he left her and like cheated on her and stuff and she hates him or whatever. So it's all dramatic, you know, classic Sunset Valley style. So I figured why not just dress like a bro today and I also figured why not give them the bachelor pad that they deserve like if you noticed in the beginning of this video their house is actually called Ocean Vista Cottage and you know what it's more like an Ocean Vista cabin I do not like the style at all and I thought like what kind of house do I want them to have and I kind of want them to have like a Don Lothario condo bachelor pad so I thought okay modern it up and then like put in a hot tub right and that's kind of like easier said than done because like when I started like this is in such like a boxy shape like it's not even a rectangle it's basically a square and like I've never built a square house before. I mostly like rectangles or like more complicated shapes, right? But like for this, I had to go with the square. So I just thought like, I'm just gonna add some like roofing details and just kind of add a few modern things. And then it ended up just going like out of control. So like full disclosure, this thing ends up being like an ultra modern bachelor pad. And I think it's kind of nice because Sunset Valley does have a lot of that old fashioned ugly style that I don't like. And for a lot of the houses, I've done a really good job at like keeping the original style. And in fact, some of the houses, I mostly keep their original style. Like sometimes even EA does a good job, but with 94 houses, you're going to have some blunders. So I thought for a house like this, like, why don't I just make it into my own thing? Since I can't actually do my own builds for this challenge, I'm just doing like renovations of everything. I kind of just treated this like a shell challenge, a loose shell challenge. Like, you know, like I cheated a little bit, like I added little tiny bump outs and little details. You know me, I love my little details, but yeah, I just figured, you know what? I don't like the brown. I'm just going to strip it all away and just make the whole thing black, white, and gray, which is great because one of the brother's favorite color is gray. And in fact, the other favorite color is green so I had to kind of go for like a gray and green concept which isn't really my favorite but I don't mind using green as like an accent color I just don't like green as like a main color like I probably wouldn't make a giant green modern house I don't even know if you can do that I don't think anyone should try actually forget I said anything but yeah and I find just changing like a few of the accent details really changes up the style so for this like changing up the fencing really made a huge difference I did like glass balustrades for like the patio and stuff and I did like metallic for the first floor and I just gave them like a gray suburban fence. Now, I know I always complain about The Sims 4, how they don't have a normal looking suburban fence. And I love that The Sims 3 has this, but I don't think that The Sims 3 has a modern fence. Like, not one that I wanted to use anyway. Like, you know what? You can always find something with custom content, but of course, for this challenge, I want to mostly just stick to the base game. And I'm not using any custom content at all, like not even store stuff. Like, if I do put a store item in, it's really not necessary. So I think for this house, I put in like the deep fryer or something. So like, if you don't own the deep fryer, then it just won't be in the kitchen, but the kitchen will still have everything that you need. But I have been getting a little bit looser with expansion pack stuff. I have allowed myself to use like quite a few different things and you'll see right now I'm going for the counters. These ambitions counters are my absolute favorite. They are just like, they, they work for a modern build. They work for a contemporary build. They're just fantastic. And like, of course, with creative style, like you can change them to whatever color you want. I don't think a lot of the counters in The Sims 4 are necessarily bad. It's just the color swatches are bad. And I know lately, like they've added in like a few more like default, like plain textures, like whites and grays, but it's still not even enough like I love creative style like I need to be able to do my own accents like in one of my recent builds like I kind of changed like the knobs of the oven to a purple and it just added this extra touch that I needed but it is a big kitchen I actually wanted to cut the kitchen down a little bit but I figured like I just wanted to stick to the floor plan for this one I'm already changing the outside a lot and you'll notice when I change the outsides a lot I tend to try to keep the inside a lot the same but for this I really couldn't do it the furniture was almost unkeepable like I think I kept the living room furniture because it isn't a nice gray but with my lighting mod it kind of looks green but I promise you it's gray I checked but of course what I really did spend a lot of time on or what I ended up spending a lot of time on were the bathrooms so this house actually has two full bathrooms and of course in typical EA style they're gigantic so of course I need to figure out a way to use like special little tricks I didn't actually use any platforms for this bathroom like you'll notice in a lot of my recent builds I've been doing a lot of platforms you know like step in showers or step down showers or like little fun things like that but for a house like this like there's floor to ceiling windows almost everywhere and when you have floor to ceiling windows you can't really do platforms because then like you're not gonna be able to use those right windows and there's not really a lot of in-between windows like not in the sims 3 or at least not ones that i own anyway so like a lot of the windows are either floor to ceiling or they're like little now i thought since one of the brothers had a favorite color of green that i would do a green bathroom but i really couldn't bring myself to do it i did make like one of the bedrooms green and i put like an accent wall in the living room but i went for like an aquamarine kind of teal bathroom just because i thought it was prettier and it's my save file so i'm gonna do whatever i want right and that's kind of like what i've been saying to everybody like if you 
download like one of the houses and like sometimes I do pick a weird color. And if you're like, oh, I don't like that color very much, like you can just change the wallpaper and hopefully everything kind of goes the same, especially for a build like this. I try to keep it very grayscale with just splashes of color. So that way it's a lot easier to make changes. And it's not just for people who download it. It's just like for like myself too, like as I'm building, like I kind of just built this like black and white house and then I started adding little bits of color. And if you see here, I kind of did like my little like walk around, step in, shower thing. I kind of use like the floor to ceiling windows for that too. So if you're going to use platforms, things like that can be really tricky. I said step down shower. Now I'm really thinking of doing a step down shower. I think that would be really interesting. I don't know how that would work. I think it would be really tricky. I might have to do like my own video about like little tiny build tricks. I've been doing like little practicing with like getting like the garage doors, like when you have a foundation house, but the garage is attached, like constrained floor elevation stuff, which is really tricky. And like now that I've got the hang of it, it's not that intimidating. Even with a build like this, like I just use a cheat called place freezes on and it allows me to put foundations on top of existing floors. So I can just do like little bulky details and like, you know, actual like modern roofing because there's actually platforms as well that you can use in conjunction with it. So you can get like all these different levels and heights and things that stick out and stuff. I don't know. It's fun. Okay. I'm rambling on. We're kind of getting close to the end of the build because I can see myself doing a green bedroom. And I think that's pretty much the last thing I did. So how about we jump into the build in first person and I'll give you the grand tour. See you there. And welcome to our rendition of Ocean Vista Cottage. I think I called it Ocean View Cottage before, but anyway, it's the Frio's house. And there's Destiny looking nice and evil in the front. But yeah, looking around, I know it looks a little bit jarring in this futuristic style, but keep in mind that I do plan to use this style for a few more builds in Sunset Valley. And it's kind of on this weird street. So this road kind of like separates these traditional houses with a bunch of more modern ones over here. So I'm thinking of using this style for like the Wolf household. I'm thinking of using it for those lofts too, like the Cosmopolitan and Metropolitan lofts. So let me know what you think about that. But yeah, so going around just kind of shows like some of the things I'm thinking about. So I wanted to use these like modern posts. I wanted to use floor to ceiling windows and I wanted to use platforms as kind of like the roof, right? Because again, like if you look at this from the top, like this house is a literal square and I'm not really good with squares. But the one thing that was really good was the windowing. I just changed the windows to white and everything looked fine. So that's pretty good too. And I use the mod columns, which are my favorite. OK, let's try and like not lose control of the camera and get down to first person. I just realized I forgot to add curtains. I think I've done this for two builds in a row. Don't worry, I'll fix it before they're uploaded. But yeah, coming into the downstairs, I just stuck like a little bit of laundry in the corner because there's not really much to do down here. I just have like a staircase to the upstairs and of course their bedrooms. This house originally had the bedrooms on the ground level and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to keep it. So this is like the gray bedroom, so to speak, right? So this is for like a loner sim who likes gray. So I just put him like a computer in the corner, a nice single bed because he's not the one who got Claire pregnant, right? So if you go into the other bedroom, it's an ugly green. And then if you look at this computer, it's just covered in tissue boxes. So I'll let you fill in the gaps for that one. But I think this is the bed that they decided to make the baby in again with too many tissue boxes littered around. So you know what? Not necessarily a clean bed, but I tried to make it a little bit pretty. OK, so coming into the downstairs bathroom again, I did one of these like walk in shower things, which I really enjoy doing. I kind of have this nook here. I was going to put a plant there. I was going to put like a washing machine. And what it made me think of is I wish we had like a stackable washer and dryer. Like I wish I could just put both laundry things in that one space. But it's The Sims 3, so too bad, right? OK, so not much more to see down here. So why don't we loop around and go upstairs as we come upstairs? The layout is pretty much the same. I just kind of like neatened up the study area. Oh, no, I put tissue boxes up here, too. Oh, no, I copied the desk. That's exactly what happened. I originally had the tissue boxes up here and then I thought, you know what? No, it's better in the bedrooms. But yeah, anyway, coming around to our like our modern black and white dining set. I actually don't hate this. I questioned myself on doing this, but the house needed a little bit of extra crisp black and white, right? Speaking of which, look at the kitchen. I put purple mats just because I thought it needed a little bit of purple. I don't know what's with me and purple in kitchens lately, but I don't have the balls to do an actual purple kitchen. So I've just been using little details, right? Like the oven handles or the bath mats. I say bath mat. So why don't we go into the bathroom? So this bathroom actually took me a long time and it's not really that complicated. I wanted to do more with it, like a platform and stuff. But again, with the floor to ceiling windows, it's definitely a challenge, but it has the shower and the tub and everything, right? And I figured that since there's like kind of like a skanky guy living here, if you notice a lot of the bathrooms and showers and stuff, like they all face windows. So that way everyone can see you when you're naked. I thought it was perfect for a Frio, right? And yeah, coming outside, I actually have a balcony where I can show you something. So if you go up onto this little platform thing, I actually put a hot tub because again, the inspiration for this build was more like a Don Lothario condo. And I thought, what's a Don Lothario condo without a hot tub on the roof? And in fact, there's like mechanical stuff that kind of like goes underneath a hot tub. So in this case, it actually clips through the bottom here. And I kind of like that because it's almost like, you know what? They're just going to stick a hot tub in their house, no matter how ugly it is, because the idea is that this is the house that's like 50 years in the future, right? Anyway, if you don't like it, I get it. I was going to put like a box around it. I just decided not to. I, I thought it kind of suited like the metallic 
look feel of the build. But maybe I've just been too inspired by EA, right? But yeah, what did you guys think? Do you ever play with the Frio brothers? I know that they always get up to no good in my game, especially with Claire. Oh my God, like the pregnancy and everything. Like it's kind of like part of the drama and the lore. And I thought I wanted like the build to bring it out a little bit more. So that's why I stuck in the Kleenex boxes and stuff. And if that's not really your style and you're not really into that kind of thing, then I totally understand. But again, like I'm always going to err on the side of lore if I have the option. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for some more Sims content. Oh God, this is kind of tiring. Again, this is like not really my style. I'm not really good at modern. And I'm definitely not good at squares, but I've been practicing modern a little bit. And I thought, you know what? Modern is kind of great for a square build because a lot of the details are just like little one tile things that stick out. That's what I remember anyway. But yeah, of course, Dethany's still creeping around the fence. So I guess we'll both see you in the next one. Boom.